everyone, it's a tastemaker and today I am doing a lip product review video for you guys. Now, a couple of videos back in my MAC Caviar video, some of you guys asked me to try out MAC's new lip glass. So they had a new lip glass that came out, like a whole collection of new shades. And you guys had mentioned that you wanted me to try the black lip glass along with MAC Caviar. Now for me, I didn't want to do that because I felt like if it's black lip glass and it's a black liquid lipstick, it just makes more sense to me to just go ahead and put a clear gloss on top of the black liquid lipstick. So that's why I didn't buy that specific one but I did go ahead and check out the line and I found a couple of shades that I did really like so I'm gonna share those with you guys now I went over to Nordstrom and if you guys don't know Nordstrom does sell Mac products so if you can't find something in the Mac store a lot of times you can go to Nordstrom and they will have it because most people don't think to go to Nordstrom to buy it so I only bought two I wanted this other shade called roulette and it was just this gorgeous color, but they were sold out. I went to the Mac store and they were sold out. They did have it available online, but for me, I've been out and really busy lately. So I haven't been, I don't have time to stay at home to wait for a package. And I just didn't feel like waiting. So I just kind of gave up on that one. So this is my receipt. You're probably gonna, not going to be able to see it, obviously, because it's white. Um, but these retail for $17 a piece. So the first one is called Bittersweet Me. And this is what the box looks like. It's just your typical MAC lip glass box. And then this is the Nordstrom sticker right there. That's why it has these little stickers on it for return. And then the second one is called Spike. This is my absolutely favorite. I haven't tried this one on my lips, but I did swatch it in the store. I've been wearing this one a lot. I couldn't wait for the video. I had to wear it. So because of that, I'm going to try out Bittersweet Me first, but I'm going to take them out of the case. So this is Bittersweet Me. I don't know why it's so difficult for me to say that. This is what it looks like. And then this is the bottom. It just has, you know, the uh, standard silver sticker. And when you open it up... It looks like this. I absolutely love the applicator for this. It's different from your typical like lip gloss applicator. So I love that. It's almost like um, it's almost like a liquid lipstick wand, like what we're t like normally used to. This is what this is. So it's a doe foot, and it smells. My allergies have been messing with me today. I don't know why I keep trying to smell something. I know I can't smell. But I do know they kind of, they have like a vanilla, sweet, kind of vanilla um, ice cream kind of smell to it. That's the kind of vibe that I get from it. And then I have Spike. Now, I am going to warn you, these two look a lot alike, but they're not the same. So this is Spike. It has more like a pink tone to it. And then this one is Bittersweet Me. So although they look alike, this one's more on the pink side. This one is more on the purple side. So that's that. So now let's go ahead. I'm going to take this lip product off and then I'm going to try these two on for you guys. And without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> reaction is I absolutely love these lip glosses one thing that I really like about these lip glosses is the fact that they're very opaque and they're not like 
very you know because a lot of times you have like these tinted lip glosses and they're very like sheer you don't really get a good color payoff with them but these are absolutely amazing it's like putting on a glossy liquid lipstick and i love it a lot of you guys who watch my channel you guys already know i am a lip gloss and gold kind of girl so the fact that i can get a little bit of color in my gloss i absolutely love that and this one is great but i actually think that I like Bittersweet Me a little bit more better just because it has more of a purple tone to it. And this is like getting all over my teeth. It's everywhere. But I kind of like this one as far as the shade wise better. But I love both of these. They're absolutely amazing. I would definitely say to check them out. They are $17. But honestly, this is going to last you a long time. And it's great quality lip gloss. And the fact that it's you know moisturizing but it doesn't have that real like sticky feel to it the only thing that I do need to do which I didn't do is just to get the excess lip gloss off because I did kind of pack it on a little bit and that prevents you from having it all over your teeth and from having those strings because I hate that but these are freaking amazing and they smell good they're thick but I love them they're so moisturizing they're not like, I don't know. It just feels like I have almost like a, a lipstick on, honestly. Love this. So this is Spite and then this one is Bittersweet Me. I would definitely say to go to your local Mac store and check these out. Do a couple of swatches. Try them on in the store and tell me how you guys like them. If you have tried the MAC Lip Glass products, definitely let me know which ones are your favorites or which ones you have already picked up. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.